So this is going to be a little bit tougher video. We're going to have to do math in this video. So first thing we need to know is how many pulses does it actually take to rotate a stepper motor 180 degrees, right? So to figure that out, they usually say how many degrees per uh, step, right? So this is 1.8 degree. Most of them are 1.8 degrees. You can occasionally find special ones that are 0.9 degrees, right? A little higher resolution. So here we go with the calculator. So what is 360 divided by 1.8? 200. So if I want to, if I want this motor here to do a full rotation, I need to give it 200 pulses. I need to give the stepper driver 200 pulses to make this thing rotate completely once, okay? So these are stepper motors. That means every time you pulse it, it moves a step. And these ones are 1.8 degrees per step, right? So every time I step it, it moves 1.8 degrees, right? So 1.8, 1.8, 1.8, 1.8, right? Every time I step, every time I pulse this stepper driver. Okay. 200 steps per revolution. That's what we need to keep in mind here, okay? So, next thing we're going to look at is our micro-stepping. So, we have micro-stepping set up here. And I'm using the A4988s, okay? Now, the ones that I jumpered here, I jumpered across all three of them, which means it's 1 16th of a step. So... Normally, if I were to pulse this thing, it's going to move 1.8 degrees, right? Every time I step it, 1.8, 1.8, 1.8, 1.8, 1.8, right? So with this micro stepper set to 1 16th, that means it's 1 16th of 1.8 degrees. So really, we can pull the calculator out here. 1.8 divided by 16. So 0.1125 degrees every single time it steps, okay? So tiny little itty bitty steps every time we pulse this. So you get really fine resolution. It also takes 16 times as many pulses to get it to rotate, but you get a much finer resolution and you can do much higher quality engravings or cutting, whatever you want to do there. Okay. So next thing we need to look at then is that 1 16th micro stepping. How many pulses does it take? to make a full revolution uh, yeah a full revolution so let's do a little more math here so it's normally 200 but it takes 16 times more steps so 200 times 16 3200 pulses to that motor driver to get this thing to rotate because we have micro stepping turned on okay if we were not to turn on micro stepping it would be, whoops, we'd have, you know, none of the, none of the jumpers there. It would sound like a chainsaw when it's moving <laughs> because it would be moving so many times per, but yeah, it would be 200 steps for re per revolution. So it could potentially go really fast. It's just going to sound awful. <laughs> it's going to sound awful and you won't get much resolution. So 3,200 Steps for revolution is way more than 200, right? It's going to sound way better. Okay. So we know what our our uh, our separate drivers are set at. So that means for this to rotate, make a full rev revolution, we need to pulse these things 3,200 times. Okay? So keep that in mind here. Next thing we're going to look at is actual gears. So I'm going to be using... Uh, sprockets for most of my laser stuff sprockets are very fast okay i'm also going to pull out some lead screws to show you guys so oh here we go here's a lead screw with a two millimeter lead okay here's a lead screw with a four millimeter lead or sorry a lead screw with an eight millimeter lead this is a lead screw with a 12 millimeter lead. Okay. We'll talk about the differences here real fast. So 
this one with a two millimeter lead, that means every time this thing rotates, it moves up two millimeters, okay? So that math is pretty easy. That math is really easy to do. So this thing takes 3,200 steps to do a full rotation, right? One full rotation of this is two millimeters. So how many steps per millimeter? Well, we can, we can do that math here. So we pull our calculator out, right? And we would say that 3,200 steps per revolution divided by two millimeters per revolution equals 1,600 steps per millimeter. So there's a lot of rev resolution here. So you can move it very slow. I mean, it's gonna move very slow, but you can move it very precisely with this thing, okay? It's gonna move really slow. You're gonna have a lot of torque too with this, but it's gonna move slow. Okay, so that's a two millimeter lead, right? Let's do the math on the eight millimeter lead. Now this is what most of your 3018 hobby CNC's have is eight millimeter lead CNC screws, okay? So let's do the math here. So eight millimeter lead means that every revolution of this full revolution, it's gonna move eight millimeters, right? So if I were to, all right, as I move this, every revolution moves eight millimeters. Okay. So let's do the math there. So 3,200 steps per revolution, right? Divided by eight millimeters of move per revolution equals 400. Okay, so that means 400 steps per millimeter. Okay, we're gonna look at one more here. One more of these leads. So this is a 12 millimeter lead screw. Okay, so 3200 divided by 12 equals 266.67 millimeters per, per revolution, or sorry, 266.66 pulses per millimeter. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Got to get that context right. So yeah, this has six, six leads on this one. Okay. Anyways, so those are the, uh, these are the lead screws, right? Next thing we're going to look at is the sprockets. Now, this is a 12 tooth here. Okay. We have a 12 tooth, a 16 tooth, a 20 tooth, this is probably the most common one, the 20 tooth. Chances are you have one of these, right? A 20 tooth. We have a 25 tooth, a 30 tooth, and a 40 tooth. Is this a 40? Might be a 48 tooth. I don't remember. <laughs> I've got a lot of these. I've got some 80 tooth ones. I've got all sorts of things. Okay. But these are sprockets we can use. So these are GT2. Uh, sprockets. So that means that every tooth, there is two millimeters between the next tooth, right? So between the start of the first tooth and the start of the next tooth, there's 32 or there's two millimeters. So let's look at this 20 tooth. Let's look at this really common one here. Okay. So if it has 20 teeth and there's two millimeters, that means that it's, that it moves the belt 40 millimeters when it does a full revolution. Okay, and that's what we're looking for. How many millimeters per revolution, right? A 20 tooth GT2 will move it 40 millimeters. A 20 tooth GT3 will move it 60 millimeters, right? Because GT3 is three millimeters between the teeth. Chances are, unless you're using like some higher end printer or something, you're not, you're not seeing the GT3 stuff. Chances are you're just doing GT2 pulleys and sprockets okay so 20 teeth with gt2 that means 40 millimeters per move right because 20 teeth times 2 millimeters is 40 so we'll go back to our calculator right we know the math here now so we're at 3200 steps per revolution right to get this thing to fully spin here we're going to divide that by 40 millimeters a revolution and now we have 80 steps per millimeter and that is common 
you can go super fast with 80 and get a really high resolution. So to show you the resolution, I'll throw a little more math in here. If you're over mathed out, just ignore this next part. Okay, so I take one millimeter and divide it by 80. Every time I pulse this thing, I'm moving 12.5 microns. So that means my resolution is 12.5 microns every time I move this, okay? So keep that in mind here, that that is a crazy high resolution, <laughs> okay? Chances are if you're lasering, you're not going more than 10 lines per millimeter, right? Which is 0.1. So 0.1 would be the one right here. That's how many times you're moving it to do lasering to get a really high resolution image. This is way more resolution than you need. And you still get a lot of speed out of this. Okay, so if you want a little more resolution, you can actually go to a 16 tooth uh, GT2 sprocket. So, okay, clear this math out of here. Now we're back to usable math. <laughs> okay, okay, so if we have a 32 or we have a 16 tooth GT2, that means 32 millimeters per revolution, right? Every time this rotates, it's moving that belt 32 millimeters. Okay. So we're gonna look at our calculator again. 3,200 divided by 32. Well, that's kind of easy, right? Now we're at 100 steps for revolution. Really easy, <laughs> a lot of resolution there. It's not gonna move as fast, it's cause it's still gonna move pretty fast, but you're gonna get just a little more resolution and a little more torque out of this. Okay, kind of cool. Now let's go up here. This is my 40 tooth. 40 or 60, I'm not going to sit here and count, I guess. We'll call it a 40. <laughs> 25, 32, yeah, I'm sure this is a 40. Okay. So let's do that math. 40 teeth means 80 millimeters per revolution, right? So what is 3,200 divided by 80? That's 40. So we're getting a lot of speed. We're losing our uh, resolution, and we're losing our torque. But that's going to be a very fast moving, uh, very fast moving laser head if you have the torque to actually push it. If your motor has the torque and it's set up right to push that. Typically, it doesn't take much torque to run a 20 tooth or a 16 tooth. That's what I typically run on my lasers. That's what you'll typically see on most lasers is a 20 or a 16 tooth. All right, next video, we're going to show you how to actually set that up in Laser Gerbil. Thanks for watching.